Are you still here? Bring me the fairy. Sorry. What? Nothing. You're doing all right. Just keep practicing. I'm not even here. You're all alone in the woods and nobody's here to judge you. Not even me. See how I'm born? That must be her. Stop. Wait. Come on out, will you? Who? Why, you, of course. Who, me? Have you forgotten you're all alone? <sighs> I'm not alone. You are here. And who else? Nobody. Aha! Uh -huh. If you were a friend of the forest, they'd all be here. The moss hogs and the hazel ferrets. The pebble crane would even rain on you from the skies to honor you. And the wood foxes would build a magnificent bonfire and everyone would dance. What? But as you are not a friend of the forest, everyone just stayed at home. If I were a friend of the forest, would you come out then? Yes, in that case we'd have something to talk about. We'd have to stand in awkward silence otherwise. And in order to be a friend of the forest, I'd have to... Have friends, that's right. Resin rats, for example. Or paper finches. And where would I find those? If you don't have any friends, you have to make them up. What on earth has Gwynling foisted upon me? So I'm supposed to just uh, make up a friend? A forest friend, that's right. He'd have to be made from the forest. Friends of forest friends are my friends too. I'll be back in a minute. No, please stay. I seldom have visitors. All right. At last, an animal that's easy to catch. Gwynling will settle for a hedgehog in case I can't catch the fairy. Serves you right, spiky guy. You shouldn't always sting our guests. No wonder no one ever comes to visit us. Nothing. Ow! <laughs> My hedgehog. He's my friend. But you had to imprison him so that he stays with you. That's no way to treat a friend. So I'm supp A forest friend, that's right. He'd have to be made from the forest. Friends of forest friends are my friends too. I'll be back in a minute. Hello? I'll be back in a minute. He won't eat those. He won't eat... That has to be a Theranian hedgehog. There's no kind that has longer spikes. My talent only affects it. Ow! 
Oh! <laughs> Really use some if those lure the fairy out of her hollow playing the flute. Great idea, Gwynling. All right, this one goes here, that one there, this one over there. Chestnut mannequin. Hello? Well, now, a chestnut king. A king? Really? Yeah, he rules the realm of the chestnuts and, uh, and he's my friend. I'm deeply honored, your tiny majesty. Here on here is my dearest friend of the forest, my lady fairy. <laughs> Both of you may enter. Finally. What a strange place. Dolls made of bulbs with hats made of leaves. Hmm. But where is the... Hello. I am Nuri Dari Nelavanda. And this is Miss Greenbald, Finkel and Hinkle, the Turnip Ghost, and plapperap. To make it simple, you can call me Nuri. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you... in love? Now that's unfortunate. I thought you were a fairy. All this nonsense, completely in vain. Of course I am a fairy. What else could I be? You're a human, just like I am. You're much too tall for a blossom fairy and a man-sized fairy. We'll turn you into a radish at once if you don't keep quiet. Oh no, the dolls, they... No, please, please don't do it. I'm just a simple bird catcher. How was I supposed to know? I'm just fooling around. I can't turn anyone into a radish. In fact, I can't turn anyone into anything anymore. But you are a fairy? Yes, why? Would you like to come with me? Why? Do you want to show me your world, which must be full of humans? Uh, yes. With roofs made from wooden shingles? Exactly. I can show you those. Oh, that's marvelous. But, no, I can't leave here. I must stay near the fairy gate. Is this the fairy gate? Does it lead to your world? Not anymore. It's been sealed. Did you come from the fairyland? Yes. And hopefully I'll never go back there. Why can't you just come with me? If I leave here, I get sick. The only thing that keeps me alive in this world is the magic of the fairy gate. How's that? It is my well. Without its water, my soul dries up. Like a plant. Couldn't you just take a part of the magic with you? How could I do that? Hmm, let me think about it. Why don't you want to go back to your home? That's just the way it is. Well, all right. To each their own secrets. I'll be back in a minute. Can I borrow one of these ribbons? Not those. I wanted to use them to... No, I can't remember what I wanted with them. I'll give them to you as a present. One is enough. That's no help at...
I'm not going to climb up there. All kinds of things could happen if I touch this gate. Go on, say hello to them. What? Go on. Uh, hello, Hinkle and Finkel and oh, whatever your names are. Whoever sealed this fairy gate certainly wasn't weak. there. It's like an elven cornucopia from the old tales. Nail shell now. Interesting. The acorn fits on the end of the snail shell like a cork. I should still fasten it somehow. Look what I've made for you. You've tied Yerk of the snail to a leather ribbon. No, look! The snail shell is filled with water from the fairy gate. Now you can come with me. Really? Just try it. All righty, let's go. You have to show me everything. Where do we go first? We have to go to Andergast. Is that where you live? That's one way of expressing it. Which way? This way. Wait. Look, Geron. A magnificent bird. This plague gets worse and worse. Come, there's the town gate. I just want to say hello to him. This unkempt black witch's beast? says the ugly, pale-faced pig-eater. Hello, Raven. I advise you to avoid the town. What's he saying? Two dark figures tiptoe past the gate. They're on the lookout for your fairy friend. Who says she's a fairy? I am a fairy. She's lying. How come you can talk anyway? And how do you know everything? I once made a big mistake. So the gods punished me by giving me the conscience of a man. Birds don't make mistakes. Birds just do whatever it is that birds do. You mean like the crows in this town? Why don't you regale us with a cheerful tale? Stay away from him, Nuri. Something's wrong here. But all creatures have the gift of speech, Garon. That's not important. Come on, you'll be safe with me and Gwynling. Why is the door open? This is where you live? Something's wrong here. Look at this mess. Is this blood? By the gods, there's somebody here. The fairy. I have to hide her. Look, Nuri, this is exciting. Is that a cave? Yes, wait in there until you see a bright light. Who's this? Hello. I am Nuri Dari Nelavanda, but Geron calls me Nuri. Oh, I have to find out what's going on here. Oh, 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 oh. By the gods, what happened here? Your eyes. Who did this to you? The seer. He's back! Don't move. 
I'm with you now. He sent his creatures for me. The fairy. You'll have to... They... Quinling. Quinling, stay with me. <coughs> what did the attackers want from you? The old fairy. Scholar. He'll be the next. What do they want with the fairy? He needs her, but he mustn't get her. What did you tell them? I spit at them with my own blood. What kind of creatures were they? Creatures of the night. Strangers in a strange world. What did they look like? They had pale faces and pointy claws. What fairy scholar? <sighs> Please don't die. Not now. He, he travelled with us back then. Thirteen years ago. He, he was the one who sealed the gate to the fairy land. Where is he now? It was all in vain. Where is the fairy scholar? In the blood barrier. At the Red Lake. He went to the Auckland. It's too late now. All is lost. What will happen with the fairy now? There's only one solution. What way is that? You'll have to kill her. It's the only way the seer can be stopped. What? No, I'm not a murderer. In that case, and the ghast will perish. I can't kill the fairy. You'll have to do it. Surely there must be another way. Don't be a fool. His power is beyond the realm of your imagination. Quinling? There. I can hear them. The black wings. <sighs> No! No! No, 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 no! What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? I can't kill the fairy. I'm not going to change my mind again. There must be another way. The fairy scholar. The red lake in the blood barrier. The king can deploy his knights there. They'll know how to defeat the seer. I must go to the castle immediately to warn them and everything will be fine. There she is! There's the witch! Don't look into her eyes! Witch! Take her to the stake to burn! Oh no. Nuri! Nuri! Geron, your humans are mad at me. I'm afraid that they'll do me harm. What did you do? I told you to stay in the room. I got bored, so I took a walk. I wanted to see a town. In the big courtyard, all the animals had been caged. I felt so sorry for them. So you opened the cages? Yes. Then I stumbled and there was a terrible noise. All of the bowls and... Why didn't you stay in the cabinet? I didn't want to do any harm. Ask the raven. He saw it all. How did you get up there anyway? I can't remember. I was scared of your humans, and the next thing I knew I was up here. But now, I can't get down. Those are not my humans. At least it's a memento of Gwynling. It doesn't cut anything anymore. The seer is bound to destroy us all with his magic harp, and that's why he needs my fairy? That's madness!
Farewell, Gwynling. I can't rip it off. I need a hammer. launch anymore. The string has rotted away. I'm going to succeed. It's just that a few things aren't going the way they should at the moment, that's all. Your fairy is in danger, Night Hare. Well, oh, it's you again. A mob has amassed. They want to burn her like a witch. Go and help her before it's too late. What did the fairy do? She ran off and set all the animals free. All hell broke loose. <laughs> they almost caught your friend, but she fled to the top of the wall. Why do they want to burn Muri like a common witch? That came up when she fell into the booth with the clay bowls. She raised an awful ruckus, and when everybody was looking in her direction, she fixed all the broken goods with a spell. She has the ability to repair things with magic? Yes, just like a witch does. And a stake can be set up in no time. I have to rescue her. Why don't you help? I am a raven. What can I do? Giving smart replies and making sinister threats, that's what. You buggers are nothing but bad luck. Now that's helpful. Why don't you get with it and get her down from there before it's too late? I'll come up with something. You keep quiet. Hurry. Never be able to untie that with my bare hand. Out of reach. It isn't going to work this way. It's already broken. I only had a proper knife. I'll never be able to untie that with my bare hands. That doesn't help very much. Muri! Gero, your humans are mad at me. I'm afraid that they'll do me harm. Can you really perform proper magic, Muri? Like fixing broken things? Most of the time I can. Fixing things is easy. Can you fix this knife with your magic? Sure. Do I have to throw it to you or something? That's not necessary. It really is fixed. Thank you. Will you rescue me now? I'm on it. I 
have to build a bridge to our house for her. Garon, they've begun to throw stones! This way! Nuri, come now! What happened here? No time. We have to get out of town. Is he... dead? Don't think about him. We have to go. He wanted you to die, and if we stay here, he'll get his wish. What? How do you know that? Before he died, he asked me to kill you. But I won't do that. I will protect you. So please trust me and come already. You can come out now. The mob has calmed down. That was the gong for the sixth hour of evening. I was supposed to be a hero by now. A hero? The king asked me to get rid of a plague of crows in the castle. I would have shown them all. Get rid of a plague of crows? I prefer saviors of fairies. I can never go back. That's for the best anyway. The creatures who killed your mentor would find you immediately. How come you know so much? Why are you helping us? I have my reasons. Night hair. Good thing those creatures didn't find you before me. Night hair? Geron, what are we going to do now? We'll travel to the Red Lake in the Blood Barrier. Into Orkland. Into Orkland? Uh, I hope you know what you're doing. Gwynling said something about a fairy scholar. He will know about our... Uh, well, about you, Nuri. He'll help you. Perhaps he can show me how to use magic again. Without any pain. Yes. I'm sure he can. What do you think, Raven? Hmm. It's a possibility. The scholar mustn't send me back to my home, though. I'll never go back there. Come on. I want to be as far away from this place as possible when the sun goes down. Poor boy. He's taking desperation for determination. I trust him. You know that his mentor told him to kill you. I know. He told me. But he won't do it. He'll take me to safety and together we'll see the world. Ah, <sighs> that will be marvellous. Geron, wait. Don't worry, Raven. He's not going to do anything foolish. I hope you're right, my child. first time in his life, Geron was leaving home. He didn't know exactly where the Red Lake was, or whether he would be able to find the fairy scholar there, or how he might be able to help him. So he just followed the road towards the north. How could he have known where this journey would take him? Nuri had left all her sorrows behind. Finally, she was free. And as soon as they found the fairy scholar, she would even be able to command magic again. Then she would put a rainbow bird in every tree and would paint a happy face on Geron. Meanwhile, Geron was haunted by the voice from his dreams and its horrific prophecy filled his heart with doubt. to get involved with the Wraithling King. King Efferdan is not a... Wraithling. It's just the name of his family. But why does everybody believe that you bring bad luck? I don't bring bad luck. Come, perhaps that old woman over there knows the way to the Fairy Scholar. She can take us there in her wagon. Wait, let me do the talking.
You're very talented with the lute. Why, thank you. It's the tune for a loved one. A loved one? Hmm. But tell me, please, who are you, and why are you tiptoeing around my camp? We come from Andergast, and we're travelling north to the Blood Barrier. This is Nuri, and I am Geron. The Blood Barrier? What is your business there? We're looking for a wise man. It's quite complicated. I can't explain the whole story. That's okay. I'm not nosy. Just careful. Greetings, Raven. What dealings does the Raven have with you? You bringer of bad luck, Boron's envoy, you and your ilk. You have taken my loved one from me. Go away! Stay away from the messengers of Boron. And who are you? Oh, yes, I am Isida. The Carney Bride, but I'm a widow now. What happened to your husband? Oh, my dear Darian, he was a magnificent acrobat. I used to play the lute and sing while he was performing, but our act didn't earn as much of a living anymore. So he had the high rope set up higher than ever before. You mean there were no last words? And no last wish I could foster in my heart. That uh, I know how you. Never mind. Where are you headed? I'm on my way to Andergast. You might know that the Queen of Nostria is eagerly awaited. I want to perform my arts at the town fair there, but now I have a broken wheel on my trailer, and I am stuck. Suppose I fix the wheel for you. Good luck with that. It's all splintered. We'd be much faster if we used the Carney's wagon, but you'd better avoid Andergast, Isida. How do you reckon? I'm not going back. All of Andergast is full of crows. They're hassling the citizens, and no one can do anything about them. Hmm, that sounds adventurous. The town fair has been cancelled. So. It would be useless for me to go there. I guess you've told the truth so far, but I'm still not completely convinced. The Raven. He came from the direction of Andergast. Perhaps he's a bad omen. Hmm. I don't want to have anything to do with this messenger of bad luck. I guess I'd better turn round. But my problem remains. As long as the wheel is broken, I'm stuck here. You could take us with you northward. It's much safer to travel in a group. As long as the wheel is broken, I'm stuck here. Suppose I fix the wheel for you. Good luck with that. You can come back if you want to warm yourself up.